Hey sightseers, I'm standing outside of Three Mile Island and you're probably wondering why the heck are we standing outside a nuclear plant? Well, I'll tell you, this year is the 40th year since the big accident that occurred here. And when I say big, I'm not talking about tons of radiation leaking out into the environment like Chernobyl, but it was huge in terms of the way it shaped the future of nuclear uh, the nuclear industry here in America. And the other reason why I'm here is because Three Mile Island is actually in the process of permanently shutting down. So I had to get out here and check it out for myself before this thing is gone. You see, what a lot of people don't realize is that while Three Mile Island is the location of one of the worst nuclear accidents in U.S. history, it is also the location of one of the safest operating nuclear plants in the United States. Unit 1 at Three Mile Island started operating September 2, 1974, and that unit ran for 45 years safely providing carbon-free electricity generation and service to the surrounding area, to the surrounding community. And on September 20th of 2019, that unit permanently shut down. Now as I pan across here, you'll see the cooling towers for Unit 2, which has been shut down since the accident in 1979, and the cooling towers for Unit 1, which was still operating at the time this clip was shot. With Three Mile Island Unit 1 now permanently offline, 836 megawatts of electricity have been removed from the grid. While that doesn't really sound like much, in a year's time, Three Mile Island was able to produce 16,000 megawatts, which was enough to power about 800,000 homes. On the surface, this shutdown seems rather surprising, given the fact that the Nuclear Regulatory Commission extended Three Mile Island's license to operate to 2034. Three Mile Island isn't the only nuclear plant to close its doors early. The Kiwani Nuclear Power Plant, which is located on the shores of Lake Michigan, closed its doors back in 2013, seven years ago. And this is as far as Dominion, the operating or the owning company has gotten with the decommissioning of the plant. As you can see, most of the main structures are still standing. Now, there used to be over to my left, a building that was their training facility. That building was torn down, I believe one to two years ago. And currently the main structures are still standing because that's part of the long-term decommissioning process. If you think it's easy to tear down a nuclear power plant, think again. The entire process is heavily regulated by the Nuclear Regulatory Commission. As far as the decommissioning process goes, they are allowed by the Nuclear Regulatory Commission up to 60 years from the time of closing to restore this entire site to a greenfield status, which is basically restoring the land to its original state, or as you can see, to the landscape that surrounds me. Because of the structures inside, the main structures are gonna take a lot longer before they'll tear those down because basically those have radioactive components that need to decay off before they tear those down. Now, Three Mile Island is following a similar type plan for decommissioning. It's called Safe Store. So Three Mile Island uh, will at some point in the future start looking like this as they tear structures down and they will too have about 60 years according to the Nuclear Regulatory Commission to put that landscape back into a greenfield status. Which means myself and any of you who are else my age and older, we will likely never see that come to fruition because 60 years is a long time, folks. And so it's estimated that the nuclear uh, the Kiwani nuclear power plant will be back to green state status in, I believe it was 2073. 
which would make me 101 years old. The Kiwani Power Station isn't the only nuclear plant on this side of Lake Michigan. Five miles south sits the Point Beach Nuclear Power Plant. With two units currently running, there are no plans in place to shut it down early. Why sightsee at two former nuclear power plants? I know it seems a little odd when you think about it, but you got to remember Three Mile Island was a historical moment in the United States with the meltdown and so I wanted to see the site because I had the opportunity while being out in Pennsylvania and granted we weren't able to go inside because anybody that knows anything about nuclear power is you're not going to get inside legally they're not going to give you a free tour and say come on in let's go check out the nuclear plant and anybody that tries to even get on site I'm telling you you're wasting your time here in the United States unless you want to end up in federal prison. But being able to come out and see the sights from afar to check out what was once a part of our power grid, our power history, to me, I find that really imp important to share with you because even if you're not pro-nuclear, something you need to keep in mind is as these aging plants shut down across the United States, at some point, if we as a country don't come up with alternative forms of energy, what's gonna power the grid? When you go to flip on the lights, you expect there to be power. And so as these age, aging plants go offline for the last time, if we don't come up with an alternative source, you're going to start seeing issues with the reliability of power here in the United States. And that's why I find it so interesting and fascinating and felt compelled to share this with all you sightseers. It should come at no surprise that Three Mile Island and the Kiwani Power Station are not the only U.S. reactors to shut down early. Since 2013, nine other commercial nuclear power plants in the United States have ceased operations before their licenses required them. What this means for the grid remains to be seen. Special thanks goes out to all our fellow sightseers here on Patreon and PayPal. Without you, these videos wouldn't be possible. We're at Chernobyl. No, just kidding. This is Three Mile Island. <laughs> Back in uh, 1979, we had a little mishap, so to speak, where we had some radiation leaking into the air. Due to these guys, right back here. Up until the accident at Three Mile Island, nuclear power was considered the wave of the future. Isn't it interesting how one incident can forever change the course of things to come?